Well, I hope you're interested. But we're not sponsoring them or anything. But it looks pretty fun. I'm definitely into it. What's the name of your company? Did you tell them? Oh, uh, it is Trump Corporation. And we are on the moon. And we are on the moon. A little late, Trump, but yeah. We're there. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to go over this. I mentioned to you guys earlier when I was at the rodeo that I wanted to say something about um, Eminem. So, yeah, I was looking at my CDs and everything, and I thought about an Eminem. Uh, so I just wanted to go over my collection that um, I found in the storage. I thought I lost a couple years ago, but now I still have my, my CD collection. I really hope you're not getting break all of those. <laughs> That would make a great YouTube video, wouldn't it? That would that would <laughs> that would be good and bad. Yeah. It's like destroying all the Michael Jackson CDs for the kind of person he was. Yeah. You don't base it on that. His music's good. He might be a terrible person. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could break anything. <laughs> good. I'm just not a break a thing this kind of guy unless it needs to be broken. But uh, my first page here. This is my first C my first CD ever. Gorillas. My favorite album. Still have it. Voila. Gorillas. Give me a thumbs up if you like the gorillas. Or in general. Or in general. <laughs> Leave in the tell me in the comments if the video sucks that you like the gorillas, and then go ahead and click the thumbs down. Um, here's a couple of Metallica CDs. One is a real one. Let me see, let's see, uh, Enter Sandman. Okay, so the, yeah, this is that one album that they say that anyone who doesn't like this album is high. And then there's a burnt album of Metallica. I admit it. I don't know where I got it. I didn't. I don't burn CDs. I haven't burned any CDs. But um, I got this one. I think I burned a couple ICP CDs actually. That's true. And then here's a what, what's this one called? Girls. Oh, you still have that. That's my. Um... Oh, you gave this to me. That's right. I don't know if I gave. That was. I got that for my birthday. I don't think I let you borrow it. That's my um, Plastic Island, Gorilla's Plastic Island. Plastic Island. Mm -hmm. That was one of their last CDs. Yeah. They just released more, another one, by the way. Yeah, check it out. Uh, so I guess the Gorilla's released a new album, according to him. Do you know what it's called? I forgot. But it just came out. That's why I don't remember. Okay. It's mm -hmm. very recent. Like, within the last like, month. Well, the Gorilla's came out with a new CD. Check it out. We don't know what it's called, but hey, look it up. Gorilla's new CD, <laughs> new album. And so yeah, I was also into Limp Biscuit and Corn. I got uh, here's four albums of Corn. Here's uh, four albums of Limp Biscuit, Old New Songs, uh, Hot Dog, Chocolate Starfish, Hot Dog. Yeah, I was totally into Limp Biscuit. Who wasn't into Limp Biscuit? A lot of people, I'm sure. But fuck, man, I was into Limp Biscuit. I even got three dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, and their last one, which was totally softened down. I can understand, you know, the vocal cards are probably going, you know. Uh, results may vary. Limp Biscuit. Results may vary. That was a very ironic album. Yes, the results may vary. It was toned down quite a bit. I think they had, like, one screaming song, and then two songs where they screamed for a couple of verses. That was it. You know, there's some Creed and some Disturbed, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Dark Lotus, motherfuckers. Love Dark Lotus, yeah. I could never hold on to the Dark Lotus first album. I just kept losing it every time I bought a new one, so I'm gonna steal it or something. But I still have Black Rain, which is a, I thought it was an okay album. I wouldn't say it was as good as the first one, but it was great. Um, I mean, some of the, a lot of the songs on there were great. And you but should. Obake Brotherhood, that was the third one. I should what? You should buy another one. I mean, I know you're the not first one. Should. That one was great. Nothing yeah. will beat the first Dark Lotus, but uh, yeah, the next one I <laughs> I don't I don't know. We'll see. But oh, Big Brotherhood, I don't know why. I kind of know why, but I don't know why. When they came out with this album, I was there in San Francisco when they came to play this this uh, album, and they did not play... They did not play what, what was it, Heinous. I don't know why they didn't do Heinous. I do, but then I don't. I just, I know that they were worried that people would go crazy, but the song was so badass. But because the song was so badass, I would understand if people went crazy when the song played. So it was unexpected, but I wasn't too surprised. It really was that good of a song. And and, and 
I could see Juggalos willing to go a little nuts over that song. It was a good song. Tell me, Heinous was not a good song. I maybe I'm overhyping like it, but I'm making it. It was. It had to have been even for for, for Juggalos. Heinous was the number one song, the number one song on that album. And a lot of the songs on there were great, but Heinous killed them. Killed them. Four albums from Tech Nine, Angelica, Absolute Power. Tech Nine? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, man. Still have them all. Dude, I've been fucking listening to those. I love Tech Nine. Tech Nine is sick, guy. Yeah. And Ishan. Ishan was what originally got me into ICP. I still have. Uh, um, I got Acid Rain. Wow, I still got Acid Rain. And I got all my Ishan albums, actually. I don't know why Ishan didn't do more albums from A1 Yola. I really thought that that was a good album. I feel like when he made this album, though, like, for some reason, he was kind of letting his music go, but at the same time, he didn't know what he was producing, and he produced something really awesome, because I was at Isham concerts, and he doesn't ever seem to sing any of the songs from this album, but it was a really good album. It was a really good album. I would honestly put it, put it up there as one of Isham's number one albums. It was one of his best, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You know. Okay. So at a point, at a point in my time, uh, at a point in my life, I started um, when when the when the FBI put Juggalos on the uh, FBI's most wanted or like a gang. They listed them as a gang. I didn't want anything to do with ICP anymore because I I reached a decision in my life where I didn't want to have anything to I didn't want to do with anything that was gang related, and I really put my foot down on that, and I meant it. I meant it. And, and I felt like ICP was the only thing I had going for me. And then, and then when they declared it a gang, and I, I decided that I really wanted to make a change for my life, and I wanted to be something, you know, a, a worthy human worth living, and I didn't want to deal, I had any dealings with anything that was illegal or gang-related or anything like that, because I, I, I have a history. I, I decided that like I I'm, I have to I have to I'm no no more ICP I'm done with it if you, if this is the way juggalos are behaving and this is what they're doing I mean I was hearing reports of kidnappings drug sales it, terrible things I I gotta say I understand some people are saying oh it was just a few bad eggs it had to have been a little bit more than a few bad eggs for it to get pushed this far you got put on the ICP's or <laughs> you got put on the FBI's list of a gang. And they took it seriously. People were losing their kids. People were losing their jobs because of this. This wasn't something that was funny. This wasn't something that was honorable in any way. And I had to, I just had to put, I, to me, I, I was done. But deep down, I was not really, I couldn't just let it go. It was still always there in the back of my mind, obviously, because here I still have my collection. All six Joker cards, except for the one that I could also never keep from getting stolen. No matter how many times I bought it, Great Malenko would always get stolen. I guess it was the best. I mean, they were all pretty sick, but um, something happened during the Great Malenko that uh, really made it popular, so popular that four CDs later, I still don't have one because it just kept getting stolen. I tried to get all the in between albums. I could get every single one. I got the Tunnel of Love. I got the Terror, Terror Wheel. Every single one except for um, the in between album they made for what was it? Uh, basically, uh, Great Malenko. Yeah, after Great Malenko, that was the same one. I could never find it. I guess it was always sold out. So to this day, that black spot has never been filled right there. It's always been blank, and of course, I just, I think this album didn't come with a cover, so I used that as a cover. But, yeah, uh, I don't know, that's Hell's Pit Remix. I don't know why it's there, actually. But, um, who cares? But yeah, Wizard of the Hood, Bizarre Bizarre. Uh, the first Bizarre was freaking awesome. Who, who doesn't, who, who can agree, disagree with that? The first Bizarre was great. Yeah, uh, oh man, Super Villains, Super Villains, sick ass beats. Gotta be the worst album I've ever heard in my life. Uh, the Calm, also, uh, some good beats. It was shit. 
I'm sorry. It, uh, <laughs> the Column was not that good of an album either. Um, Multi Million Remix, that was good. I also liked their uh, um, Hell's Mix remix was pretty good, but at the same time, I don't feel like they matched up a lot of the beats with the... They introduced new beats, but none of the beats actually in, uh, matched up with the songs, and it kind of killed it. Like, the, dude, the words and the, the rhythm of the words don't match with the beat. <laughs> I don't know. Twisted, I got four Twisted albums here. Uh, Mutant number two, or was that number two? Maybe it was number three. Which one was it? Familiar. The album with Familiar on it, that was fucking Familiar. It was a great song, man. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we got all these things right here. Then I got these, uh, Varmints of Humanity. I haven't heard anything from D12 in a really long time. But, um, Eminem, on the other hand, heard some disgusting shit. Wow, this, to this, see, I got a few scratches on this. You guys remember that? Y'all remember this. You remember that? The pill? I remember that CD. That CD. Uh, you want it? I'll take all your Eminem CDs. I'm, you like can have them. Your dad done with them? I'm done. Hold, hold on to them in there for me. No. What? No. You can dig them out of the trash for all I care. Well, let me find a good... CD you guys remember that, right? I was I was literally gonna just, you know, just... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm down. I'm willing to do this. No. Give me a second. Let me... Look at this some of this guy. Okay, do you want these two? Yeah, I'll take all these. He's gonna, he's gonna take... You guys remember the covers? <laughs> you guys, like I said, Michael Jackson. Just keep that in mind. Well... I would never want to meet Michael Jackson or hang out with him, but I, I do like Michael Jackson. I think Michael Jackson went from semi-unknown, semi-hated to, to more hated, semi-unknown to being super popular, where this guy went from straight hated he to went, being popular. Michael Jackson went from a fucking normal human being to an alien. <laughs> when I was like 10, yeah, I thought I thought he was white. I actually told my I, dad, like, Michael Jackson was black. I, I thought Michael Jackson, I, I had no idea that Michael Jackson was a black man. I thought it was a white woman. <sighs> You're ignorant. Hey. Those are the books. Oh, okay. I would rather, almost rather, show them me throwing these in the fucking trash. I'm giving them away. I'm giving them away to my brother. How does that make me? What does that make me? Not much different. It than makes Mrs. you better. You're getting rid of him. I'm getting, I'm I'm getting not rid a of political him. I was going to so throw him okay. in the fucking trash. Dude, I know. Okay, you want his next album that's coming out? I guarantee that's probably going to be trash, too. I don't want any of his new albums. They suck. That's, ooh, that's no, I agree. His new no, albums are fucking so. garbage. I didn't even know his he was, old music's I didn't awesome. even know he was coming. I thought you gave me this CD, but all I have is that. I don't I've see. Never, Go ahead and trash that. Okay. I don't know what that is. Okay. Yeah, the CD. Bad meets evil. Sounds like it belongs in the fucking trash. Well, half of it. The other half is what's stain, right? There we go. That's Aww, nothing. You just ripped up the only good guy's face. No, he's still there. The black guy's still there. Isn't that? Eminem has been ripped asunder. Well, I thought that, that was Dr. Dre. Isn't that? <laughs> I know. It's... I don't know. Whoever those. I don't know. Uh, uh, Royce, Royce Nine. Royce Nine. Voice to five nine. Trash. No CD to go with it anyways. Who cares? Okay, D12. You know what? This album, I could also never hold on to. Everyone kept stealing it. That was a good album. Detroit, D, D, Detroit, uh, Detroit World. It was a good album, but it will never match up to, to that. This will have never been that. That was amazing. And it was disgusting at the same time. It was the most disgusting, amazing video <laughs> music album I've ever heard. You know what? Whatever. I'm just, I mean, I'm not throwing these away because whatever. It's D12. It's D12. Sure, keeping your D12 world. I guess I don't even want. Oh, actually, no, you can have that. I don't, I don't want that shit. 
Gimmick. It was garbage. It was, the album was garbage. The first one was better, even though it was more disgusting. That's probably what made it better. Yeah, here's some 50 Cent. Uh, okay, and then it gets weird. I got uh, Switch Foot. I got Aventura. Switch Aventura was good. I got Bande Lemon. I got all that. I got to listen to Spanish. The songs in Spanish. I got uh, uh, La Bandas Románticas. I only got that because it was like two songs on that whole thing that I really loved. The rest of them I either didn't yeah, know or bought so. Here is another E40 album. E40 yeah, was E40? good. I thought I had more E40. Oh, you don't like that Pink Floyd, do you? I'll take that. Uh, no. Pink <laughs> Floyd's going nowhere. <laughs> That's staying right here. Uh, right, so got, uh, is that a WoW CD? No, it's a cow CD. <laughs> <laughs> cow, hear this. What's it got? Uh, oh, so it's making fun of WoW. So it is like a WoW CD. I lost CD. that CD too, damn. Uh -huh. It is like a CD. Yeah, that was um, that was like a whole bunch of mixed uh, bluegrass country music musicians. So like Pat Green and uh, Robert O'Kane and That's yeah, cool. I got Tim McGraw here, Kevin Fowler. My fucking this is this is the collection I will never let go right here. I will never let this go. My boy, Senor Robert Earl Keane Jr. Ignorant. That's ignorant. Yeah. <laughs> that's play. Oh, it's climb a tree. <laughs> and then yeah, that's well, that's pretty much it. Then I got the uh, some uh, Blink 182 and Lincoln Park and uh, Squirrel of Sam. I got two CDs of Squirrel of Sam. I got Boogeyman. Boogeyman, a good friend of Squirrel of Sam. He also makes some good did CDs. Did you hear about uh, Lincoln Park? Yeah, the guy killed himself. Yeah, I heard about that. That was really sad. Very sad. Very sad. That sucks because there was actually when I first got to San Jose in 2011, they had a Lincoln Park concert that I didn't get to go to at the SAP Center. Like, dude, I don't understand why he killed himself. No one does actually. A lot of people are wondering why he killed himself because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really make any sense. It, it I mean, he's, the guy was everything. He had everything, and he was an amazing person, and people loved him. What was the loss? Like, what what was so? Or were things going so bad that he would feel he had to do that? What was the issue? What was the cause? What was the motive? Anyways, yeah, YDMC, Dave, I haven't heard from you in a long time. You gave me his number and then I lost it. YDMC, he was a, yeah, that, that guy was pretty cool too. He was like a, he was a rapper, but he was also a skater too. Rapper, skater, he's pretty sick. He was basically like, he's basically like a, a Skrilla Sam and a, Squirrel Sand TV combined with the uh, um, uh, Cold Gravy one one two two three yeah yeah a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, that's all done. Other things.